Hey, what up? It's Brad with Home Love Construction, and it's my 40th birthday. Just kidding. We're doing an addition in Palm Harbor. Let's do it. So we're actually inside of the existing living space in Palm Harbor where we're doing this addition. You can see out this, what used to be a huge window, uh, the area where the new addition goes and the, the roofs are down and we've got it dried in. So what we're working on right now is getting this block wall out. But what's happening is the exterior wall for the second story, it's a two story house and it's a first story addition. The second story wall sits directly on this wall. So we can't just take it out. We have to actually put a beam up in here. So we've got, it's a three ply beam, which is what the engineer called for. So we've got two of the, of the beams in there. A three ply beam is where you take three one and three quarter inch LVLs and sandwich them together and nail them together. So we've got two of them in there already. What we need is we need to get the third one in, but as you can see, we're flush, there's no more room. So now what we have to do is we have to take one of, there's one of these on the outside wall. Now that we have these in supporting the upper, the upper story, we can take the floor joist off of the outside wall and then push these in and then slide the third one in here. So that will allow us to support our second story. And then we'll have our poured, we actually did uh, post footings underneath when we did the under, our new original pour. So that's gonna be supported down on the post fittings. Then we'll be able to blow this open, open up our addition, rough in our electric plumbing HVAC, and then start the drywall and get this thing actually closed up. So what I'm standing here right in front of or squatting in front of, this is an LVL, which is what's a, uh, it's a laminated beam. So what this really is, is it's little sheets of plywood that are all glued together. And it, it goes, it stands up on end like this. This is an extremely strong piece of lumber. This is 16 inches deep and we can run on a, on a 16 inch three ply, we can probably run about close to 20 feet, maybe 18. I'm not an engineer, so don't quote me on that. But what I've seen is up to maybe 18 to 20 ish foot spans for this size. Uh, and so what we do is we literally stack them in there. This is about a, a one and three quarter inch wide. Uh, and so what we do is we stack these in there and sometimes put sheets of plywood between them and then just nail them together. Literally in a beam of, of this length, you'll probably put, you know, approximately maybe 200 nails in this because it has to get nailed in a random pattern and between the nails and uh, holding it together and then the strength of the wood, you actually get a beam that can support literally thousands of pounds of weight right up on top of here. And all it breaks down to is these little sheets of plywood that are maybe maybe a quarter of an inch wide all glued together it's pretty amazing what we can do with modern building products you know a while ago this would have had to have been um you know a, a huge timber beam that would have been you know eight inches wide and, and eight inches tall and it would have taken uh 10 guys to get it up in there because it would have been so heavy this can be managed by you know maybe maybe two or three guys i can almost pick this up by myself this is a heavier beam but you're talking two to three men you can put them up in sections and then nail them together it really makes the whole process a lot easier and uh, this is just kind of one of the building products that you're going to commonly see on projects and uh, it's kind of just run of the mill for us because this is what we do.